Okay, everyone, I am recording this video follow up to the example in case if someone need clarification. So please watch. I am discussing all three parts. We have a river. Problem says there's a boat. This is my boat. The boat is heading up north. This is my north direction. This is my east. And the velocity of the boat relative to the river or the water, if someone need, you can say W, that is equal to 7.5, everyone. The magnitude, how big is this velocity? And also the problem says the water is flowing along this direction, velocity, how big it is the river relative to the ground or the earth, how big it is, that is two kilometers per hour. And the problem is asking everyone, go ahead and find the velocity of the boat relative to the ground. Bring the river one time here, that is the first term, velocity, boat, river, plus go the second item here, velocity, start from here, river, ground. First one, first last one last the third item we had river river here okay do we have numbers for that definitely definitely velocity of the boat relative to the river everyone we do already have this guy 7.5 it is and it is pointing in the north direction i do have a velocity 7.5 and Relative to the ground, velocity of the river, it is eastward 2 plus, there we go, if you want to call it y-axis, x-axis, totally fine, this is 2. Whenever we are adding two vectors, they are in two different axes, x and the y, or the north and the east, everyone, first thing we could do, we can calculate how big is this velocity? Velocity of the boat relative to the ground, how big it is. This is where the Pythagorean comes in. 7.5 squared plus 2 squared square root. How much is the magnitude? Definitely, definitely do the math and you will get a number. I'm trying to do the calculator something closer to 7.75 kilometers per hour. Definitely crank the math, check the numbers. And the problem asking magnitude done, what is the direction? Everyone, this is the relative velocity direction. It is getting swept, dragged along this direction all the way. This is the direction and it will be somewhere here if you want to call it C location. If it was going all the way straight here, this is how much it is dragged along the river. We are going to find it later on. And going over here, we have a small triangle. We are going to figure out how much is this angle theta or alpha. Okay, so you have a triangle. Let me draw it again. We now know this guy 7.5. This guy is 2. And again, we found it 7.75. We are trying to figure out alpha equals what you could do. Sine, cosine, tan, inverse, anything. I could do straight. One of them I am doing tangential inverse 2 divided by 7.5. That will give me the alpha, everyone. This angle alpha is equal 14 point something closer to, I will say, 15 degrees. Done. I found how much is the magnitude, 7.75 direction. I found it, everyone. So done the problem part A. Okay. Now going to the part B of the problem. How far does this problem right here? How far does the boat drift along the opposite bank or the east? We are trying to figure out how much is this everyone. 
Now think about this big triangle. We are trying to figure out this leg right here. That is delta x, if you want to call it. And we know this leg right here, that is 500 meters. That is equal to half a kilometer. Some people were confused about that. Okay. And lucky enough, we know this angle, everyone. So getting back here, we do have this angle 15 degrees. This is a 90 degrees. This is a 90 degrees, 90 degrees here. And we are trying to figure out delta x equals how much. We know this vertical height 500 meters or half a kilometer. Okay, now again, tangential sign, whatever right now, because of the relationship we have, I could say tangential angle alpha with the 15 degrees that is equal to opposite delta x divided by the adjacent that is 500 meters and move this guy here, you get 500 multiplied by tangential 15 degrees. That is how much it is drifted along the bank or along the east direction, everyone. That is going to be equal something closer to 134 meters. There we go. That is the answer. And earlier we had these guys answer answer for the problems. Okay, so good so far up to this point. Everyone were confused about this one right here. How long does it take for the boat to travel? All the way started here, and it is getting dragged, dragged, dragged all the way to the location C. How long does it take? One thing to keep in mind, everyone, this is the river in this problem we have. If someone were to call X and Y direction, this is something starting here. If you need, you can call it north or the Y direction. If you want to call it, everyone, this is the X or the east, totally fine. And remember, even in the projectile motion problems, Time was the same for the X, same for the Y. Keep that in mind. Same thing happens here. There's one clock in this problem along the shore, along the east direction or the X, along the Y direction. Even in that direction, it is sweeping away. Same clock, same time. Now, trying to show you guys one more thing before getting to the example. Okay, now this is the east. We are talking about the same motion equation. This why I'm talking about along the x positive. Delta x equals v initial along the x time one half acceleration along the x time squared. Along the y direction, y direction upward positive. Delta y equals v initial y time plus one half acceleration along the y time squared. Relative velocity, again, everyone, everything what we done with the upward motion, gravitational acceleration is done now. These are relative velocity, something on a horizontal plane, a boat is trying to go up along the north direction with a constant speed, the boat. River flowing here, constant speed. Now, constant speed, acceleration zero, acceleration zero. Okay, so it was too much here, acceleration zero. This will lead everyone. Delta x equals I'm going to call it constant velocity, initial x or the final x, that is going to be the same. I am going to call it velocity along the x multiplied by the time. This will lead delta y, velocity along the y multiplied by the time. And we 
we are trying to find the time, everyone, all we are going to do, I am going to change this equation a little bit. We are right here. I do need the time and move this guy to the left-hand side, delta x over the time. This guy here, I need the time, same time, delta y over the time. Now I need numbers to substitute everyone. This is, in my problem, getting back here, this is my y direction, okay? And it has the board speed along this direction. Really, really sorry, everyone. I'm taking one step back. I did something really, really silly. This guy should be, this guy should be velocity along the x. This is the term we are talking about. This is the term we are talking about, velocity along the y, everyone. So now, this is the x direction, velocity along the x is this number. That is the velocity along the x, velocity of the river relative to the ground, the number is two. How much is the displacement we found earlier? Drifting away, it is traveling this much, delta x, that is equal to 134 meters. Go put these numbers here. You now have delta x, 134 meters divided by velocity we have along the x direction. How much is that? Two kilometers per hour. I will get back to that unit conversion. Okay, I will keep continuing working on this part for now. Along the y direction, velocity along the y direction, that is the velocity of the boat relative to the river. That's equal everyone to, and how much is the displacement here? That is 500 meters or half a kilometer. Let's plug those numbers, delta y, 500 meters if someone need or half a kilometer and velocity along the y direction 7.75 kilometers per hour. It will be much easier calculation here 7.5. I'm really sorry I keep mixing these numbers this is 7.5 kilometers per hour and every one kilometers per hour this will simplify into 0 0.0666 hours and multiply this number by, if you need in minutes, 60 minutes is per one hour. If you need your answer in minutes, if you need your answer in seconds, another 60 seconds for the one minute, things will cancel out you will get, I believe you should get, let me see, let me see, real, real quick, 240 seconds you are going to get. Even in this step, you will get the same number. Okay, so this is the last thing, how to convert two kilometers per hour, how to convert it in meters per second. So you could go ahead, substitute here. Two kilometers to 1,000 meters is one kilometer. One hour, 60 minutes, 60 seconds. There we go. You have 2,000 meters divided by 300, 3,600 seconds. That is the number you will substitute here for your calculation, everyone. Definitely, definitely calculate this. You will find this answer, the time taken to travel. Please let me know if you have any question. Okay.